we're back with Plague Inc. Evolved. I haven't played it in, jeez, a long ass time now. But yeah, let's play it again. This is a good game, and I want to play it again. So let's do this. We're gonna go to single player, and there has been a lot of updates since I since I left. So hmm. anyway, main game. Yeah, play. And I think last time we did bacteria on casual. So oh yeah, this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's the simian flu, which I'm not going to play until later. So yeah, bacteria and bacteria and let's see, let's see the genes we can throw in here. Um, yeah, it seems like I've actually played this game quite a bit. If ATP boost gets bonus DNA at the beginning, gets more DNA. Yeah, this one, this is better for sure. This one. Darwinist increases the chances of your plague mutating. Now, is this a good thing? If you can get points back, yeah. If you can't, then no. Am I gonna do it? No. Let's see. Increases if you're trying to plant shit for that. So let's see. This this one or by air or by land. You know what? I think I'll go with. Uh. uh I don't know, I think I'll go with air. Can't do anything here. Can't do anything there, okay good. So last time we played casual, this time it's gonna be a normal. And uh, we're gonna name it something slightly, slightly controversial. Here we go. So uh, some, some guy by the name of Merckx is going to infect the whole world. So, welcome to Plague Inc. Evolved. So yeah, select a starting location. If you know me, well, I always start in uh, West Africa because it seems like the best place to start. Because you have a port and it also has a lot of people. But the problem with starting in West Africa is... If I can somehow get to... Where's the climate? Where do you see the climate? I guess not. Um, oh yeah, here. It's a hot climate. Problem with hot climate. It gets it gets very difficult to infect countries like this. Uh, Canada. These countries are difficult to infect. Yep. Pop this. Stuff. And I'm gonna play this way. Oh, so many of these orange bubbles. So basically, how I'm going to play is. Oh yeah, look at this. So start date, blah 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 blah, average infections, lethality, severity. So I am going to do this by increasing things like water, air, no symptoms, not until end game, and bacterial resilience. You know what? We're gonna start bacterial resilience one and two. Yep, I've evolved Mercs. He's getting better at uh, he's gonna he's getting better, so he's gonna probably destroy the world. And I, I, I forgot that this someone has a you can you can like do a super fast forward. There's normal fast forward and super fast forward, which is because like in the in the normal version of the game it doesn't have a super fast forward. I mean, yeah, we have these stupid ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Why is it always Peru? There's some hilarious ones like uh, Swedish miner uh, saved by Microsoft. Oh, this is not good. Airplanes to use new sterilization air filters. But yeah, that, that's funny. Yama collecting is the new craze. Hey. <laughs> I like the music in this version a lot. It's awesome. So yeah, Merx is spreading. Good. That's very good. Ebola, Ebola starting in West Africa. Except this ain't no Ebola. This is Merck's. What? Stem cell treatments for all a decade away. I don't know what that means actually. I don't know what that will have effect that has to this game. High tech camouflage tank. Lost by army. Mm. Yep. But I think it's it's kind of funny because I think they have invented um, like uh, invisible tanks. Like they're developing invisible tanks, and yet there's still problems with like steam. It's funny. First world issues. Like 
they can they can develop tanks, but they can't fix uh, small bugs on Steam. All right, so now we have a lot of DNA disease points, not DNA points. Country information, blah 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 blah. You have all the crap down here, so you don't actually have to click on that stuff. Back to resilience three now. Yeah, this is kind of this is getting better. And transmission is going to be currently by. I think I'll go with them. These these ones are kind of pointless. I think they might be useful, but I don't use them. I I mean myself don't use them. I'm gonna go with water because uh, West Africa doesn't have an airport. It doesn't have an airport. It has a seaport. Mercs infects hundreds. How much does it need? It's 16 points. Okay. Oh come on, that one's old. That 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 one has been around since like the game when this game first released. CDC releases solve the outbreak education iPad app. So it's it's like the opposite. Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of cool to play this game from the uh, from the uh, other side. But anyway, journalists rush to cover latest reports on the breaking amount of money raised and a kick a kick stopper. <laughs> Lol. Oh man, that's bad. I like I like how I like how the Antarctica is at the top too. And then, like look at this hexagonal design of this game, all futuristic and shit. Mercs infects thousands. There's a difference between zooming in and clicking this one. No, there isn't. <laughs> That's real. Mm, there we go, so now we should do this. Water too. Pathogen able to survive in chemically free different Is it just me or has this thing gone like grown a little bit little spikes and it's gonna get better and better and better eventually? 18,000 infected. How many? Wait, yeah, we we haven't infected another, another country yet. Wait, I chose yeah, I chose air instead of land. So, goat demands royalties from game dev. Ah, stupid game. Terry Pratchett. Ah, stupid goat simulator. Stupid game. All right, more DNA points. Ah, there we go. It uh, doesn't matter. You don't need that land thing. Land uh, spreading might be good if you start in, I don't know, Kazakhstan, but who starts in Kazakhstan? So now we have five people in Central Africa and a million people in West Africa. Yeah, this one's good, yeah. The Swedish miner freed by Microsoft rides into sunset with like ten billion dollars too. Alright, see, look at that. The, the the port was good enough. Just get the boats here and good. So we'll probably start doing water. More infectious than TV. This one has an airport, so we know what we're gonna do. That's right. We're gonna start evolving this, and then we get to the extreme bio aerosol. Upgrades. Let's planes be infected again. Yes. Yeah, see. Mm. Hopefully you can hear me, I mean this music might be a bit loud. Oh no, 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 no rashes, no nothings. Refund it to, event, I, I think eventually, uh, eventually it goes from like, you, you get refunded like maybe 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and then you gotta start paying for, uh, you got you gotta start, oh look at this, it's going quickly. You gotta, you gotta start paying for the, um, devolves, that's why I decided not to go with the Darwinist, because, Unless you're playing virus or something, well, vi virus is already pretty good. But like when you have Darwinist virus, then it's like rapid, rapid um, mutations. As you can see, uh, West Africa is pretty infected now. It's pretty much dead. It's gonna die. Oh, what kind of stupid shit is this now? Forgot to press X. <sighs> Quick time event joke. 
What are we doing in Brazil? Brazil, not many people infected. Oh yeah, America. America is infected by aircraft. Central Africa, Algeria, Morocco. Oh, Morocco's infected, I didn't realize. Oh, what's this bullshit? Tiny robot lands on Comet. Ah, yes. That's a very uh, recent thing, actually, that just happened with the Comet landing. That little robot thing. That is uh, that's quite recent. That's like a few days ago. Yeah, so, so yeah, this game's quite up to date. Nice. I like that. Medicine in USA slowing infection. Yes, thank you for telling me. What about in France too? Is it France? Come on, let me click on it. There we go. We infect Bolivia. Oh shit, now it's spreading quickly. This is why I like to upgrade water and air and things. Now if we can, we're gonna do extreme no, not yet. Air two. Uh, spreading by uh, water and land is very important, especially for bacteria, because bacteria is really slow. You need to spread it as quickly as possible so you can end the game as fast as possible. There goes Brazil, Morocco is pretty much done for, Algeria is getting destroyed, Libya, Liberia, Libya. Mm, so this, is, this is going well, this is going very good. Wait, look at how quickly that's going. Let's check the infection rate. It should be somewhere here. Uh, overview. Let's see. What's this? Oh, these are the uh, genetic modifications I made. Look at that. Yeah. Average deaths. Daily deaths. Daily infections. Average infection. What does that mean, average infections? Like the total infections? I don't think so. What does average infections mean? Is it like average, like average, like infections per day? Daily infections is that like is is daily infections average infections per day? It's so confusing. I'm gonna have a uh, yeah. If if I'm gonna have success in these northern regions, I'm gonna have to do something. And that is called abilities and coldness, cold resistance needed, needed. Maybe drug resistance too, but and maybe not. China's getting down. 
Remember, this is on normal difficulty. I I, I recently uh beat. I, I was playing Plague Inc. the normal one, and I beat uh, Bacteria on brutal difficulty. Um, but that that was uh, using a really slow strategy of having nothing and letting the whole country be as slowly infected. And I had to go up to uh, the year 2150 before I won. So yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen. Oh, look, Chris is, is mutated. Devolve, two DNA points refunded. Yes, no, yes. I think what happens is, is um, what happens is, is more the more more uh, the more put the more stuff you put into your the more upgrades or uh, like evolutions you make in, in any of those three like transmission ability symptoms whatever. Um, I think what happens is is that uh, every time you want to devolve, it costs more. There goes Russia, partly due to the cold resistance I've done. I, li I like how I think I mentioned this like a long time ago, but I really like how the red just like it seeps into a country. It just like fills up. That's plenty of DNA points. Basically, to win this game, like when when it comes to symptoms, all you really need to do is uh, get it to other oh, Greenland. All you need to do is get it to um, uh, total organ failure. Hotter, hot country is getting hotter. And what about what about cold? Uh, what about cold countries getting hotter? You know that's also what, what, what's happening as well. I don't get that. You know you know what's weird? There's a little bit of a plot hole going on here. What, what you want to call a plot? But there are people living in Antarctica. I know that, right? Like a couple hundred people. So I mean, even if everyone here dies, people in Antarctica won't die. It's so cold that, in fact, I doubt, I doubt the disease would even ever make it before it, get, before it dies from, from the cold. Now I'm going to have a look at the world. Oh, nice! Every single country in the world infected. Very small percent of the population that needs to still be infected. This is going, this is going fairly quickly. I think it's best, honestly, to start in a balanced climate such as uh, China or mm, the U.S. Because um, then you have a balanced climate, therefore you don't need to start in a hot country and evolve to get cold. Because then, what happens is if you start in a balanced country, then it doesn't take too, it doesn't take a really ridiculously long time to infect uh, some parts of the world, as compared to if you start in Greenland and you want to infect. Uh, like, oh, what is this? Like, Angola. Those countries take forever sometimes. Let's do this refund points. So, basically, the countries that still need to be infected is, uh... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Italy, come on. This happens to Italy and New Zealand. These countries, man. These small-ass countries. These take forever. Oh, shit. Like even Greenland is going quicker than that, and it's much. Mu it's sometimes sometimes Greenland is really hard to get. Canada is doing good, except people up here aren't really getting infected. It's mostly this part of the country. Now it's spreading, spreading. Scientists increase understanding of fear, of fever. Wait, fear, <laughs> fever. <laughs> Shit. Um, so that means we're not going the fever path, because that will make it much harder to actually kill people with fever than, if, than because, of, because of that. So yeah, the world is nearly infected completely. What else do we have? Basically have a few countries that are not such. Canada is not completely infected, neither is Italy, neither is New Zealand. So now we have to wait. I keep thinking like normal normal difficulty is actually freaking easy. I mean brutal brutal is difficult, okay? Brutal is 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 annoyingly difficult. So now we're just gonna sit back and wait for these countries to uh die. So yeah, apparently this is what Canada looks like. You know what, that's actually not bad. It kinda does look like that. 
what about the US? Oh yeah, the US looks all cool and shit. What about Russia? I like how some countries do have their landmarks and other countries just kind of have to um, just have like a generic city or something. Merckx has infected most of the world, yes he definitely has with his glory. Um, uh, that's what Norway looks like apparently. Sweden looks just like Norway and Finland looks just like Sweden. The UK. Yeah, okay. I never even went into, like, is this what Africa looks like? I imagine this is, like, a rich part of Africa. <laughs> like, this this is like an average city right here. And Australia just looks like a generic city again. America. Is that supposed to be the Statue of Liberty or something right here? I don't know. Brazil gets a, uh... Does this look like South America to you? I don't know. I like how it gives you like little snippets of places, so like when everyone, what, like you get, like uh, you get to see the countries progressively break down, which is pretty cool, I think. Saudi Arabia just looks like some kind of crazy metropolis. I wonder if these are actual photographs or if these are just um, ah, uh, they're probably digital. Hmm, France has a unique picture. And uh, Italy should pretty much have a picture of the Colosseum, but whatever. Do as you wish. Germany has its own unique picture. Is this really a good characteristic of Germany? Okay. Uh, Indonesia. Southeast Asia. What about Korea? Ideally, Korea, that the, this should be a picture of like the border. Does Japan have its own unique picture? Nope. Generic city again. Generic. Or no, actually, this one might. No, this this is Asia. That's the generic Asia picture. I think. Boring. Delete insom Im Im insomnia. Insom insomnia. Insomnia. China looks just like Japan, and apparently Vietnam looks just like Japan too. There are no yes, sir. No healthy people left now. We can kill the world. Now Marx can kill the world. Here we go. So we're gonna start with. People say the best route to do is coughing. Then pneumonia. Then. Pulmonary fibrosis, total organ failure, and uh, you know, let's let's increase the death count considerably by doing. We're gonna move down here if I can, if I have enough research points to evolve, evolve, this century, and then we're gonna do this. I don't think we have enough points to continue. No. Because there's another, like, extremely fatal disease in the other side as well. You might. Oh, yeah, minor disease, my ass. Just wait till it kills all of you in 30 days. Watch this timer. It starts. Started. The death started at 10. Canada shuts down seaports. Woo, it's too late, guys. You're gonna all gonna die. And the world's slowly gonna turn black. Keep it at normal speed just so we can see it slowly turn black. And then you get to see like countries break down, which is the best part. 300 million, 400 million, 500 million, almost 600 million. I'm getting these points back. Oh yeah, see now, now countries are starting to get destroyed. Have a look at this. What was that fucking noise? I want to see what Peru looks like. I want to see the blown up uh, plague threatens the world. Mm, really, Korea. What's this all about? Why are there people behind? Oh, general disruption. So it's just a bunch of police officers, I think. Peru, general disruption. 
Wait, so they changed the picture, like the like it, the normal life was still going on, but there's like maybe some curfews or something going on here. Yeah, and ge uh, general disruption here includes a destroyed car, even though people are still normally walking around. Apparently life is totally okay. China, business as usual. Same in India. General disruption. Oh yeah, look, have a look at this. We have broken things and uh, police force again. Afghanistan. Kazakhstan. Why am I spending so much time looking through this? I want to see. Yeah, there's no difference here. Ah, look. General disruption includes a car crash. Right, and some police force. So that bus is still turning towards the highway. Even after all this horrible trouble. Oh, give me America! Why am I not just screw you, dumb shit? Go to America. Apparently, this there's no difference. What's the general disruption? All I see is a bunch of there's nothing going on really, actually. Well, anyway, let's get, let's continue the game. I'm wasting my time. Would you look in this beautiful little corner? Oh, Middle East begins to break down, huh? Close to extinction, what are you talking about? There's still two, there's still three quarters of the world left. General disruption, I want to see countries getting wrecked. Business as usual. I'm not general disruption, I would like more than general disruption, I would like... Whoa, wow, Bolivia only has two. They had three of these uh, smart bottles. Nope, apparently they're that poor. Ah, oh, that's what the UK looks like with general disruption. I see uh, some kind of car. That's pretty much it. How about the Eiffel Tower? Oh, just a bunch of smashed cars. Mounted police? Is Are those horses? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stop fucking around. Just continue playing. Global research focused on cure. Oh yes, 25. Per uh, good luck. Good luck, men. Okay, let's have a pause and see what it looks like. Let's see, oh, Merx was placed on watch list. Mm, danger. I said pause. Countries are really starting to get destroyed here. Widespread disorder, it looks the same. What's the difference? There we go, that's what I wanted to see. <laughs> that looks like some kind there's looks like some kind of chaos is happening. This doesn't look like anything, it has the same map too. Oh yeah, that looks that looks fucked up. Look at this, close to anarchy. Yeah, that definitely looks like it looks like uh, something's on fire and uh, not very pleasant to image actually. General, ah, look, that's what Canada looks like when it's generally disrupted. Is it, no, this this one is exclusive to Canada, right? Yeah, this is what Canada looks like. I won't lie. Maybe it's taken from my city. Some dude in a beanie. Some police, of course. Uh, the police in Canada have uh, horses, they don't use cars. Let's see. Again, the same pictures. Oh yeah, that looks damaged. Mm. Yeah, something wrong there. Something wrong in Italy. Oh yeah, that looks... Oh yeah, Germany looks fucked up. Damn. Well then, let's keep watching the world break down. I like these images, it's kind of cool. Actually, I won't lie. I think anarchy just... I know anarchy just looks like this. Hang on. Anarchy just... Wow. Nice. Yeah, total anarchy is basically when you have the shattered uh, screen. Like, destroyed, pretty much destroyed screen, and there's... Well, nothing left, to be honest. Everyone's dead. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Mm, nice.
Uh, yeah, something wrong with that. Something wrong in Japan. Let's continue. You can see what every country looks like once uh, the whole world is pretty much dead. To uh, increase the speed to kill all people, we must do this. Bang. Boom. There you go. Check that lethality, man. Scientists exploit fever. That doesn't matter. I already won this shit. Oh yeah, they increased the by 3%. That's actually a lot if we were playing. If this was like brutal difficulty. The cure is only 50% complete. Do that, guys. You're going to lose. Russia is close to anarchy and uh, World War II tanks. Good. Now it's total anarchy. Same picture though. Mm, nice. I love these images. Oh, this is how the world should look like right now. What's going on here? What's the difference? Some people. What about France? Give me France! I want to see a broken Eiffel Tower. Would this actually happen during an apocalypse? Would literally cities just burn down for no fucking reason? Because people are dying. Mm. Nice. Humanity may die, but its structures will live on for thousands of years. Some of them will live on for hundreds, maybe a couple of that, maybe like some stone things will live for thousands of years. France is almost dead. We. That's the only plane. Oh, you can see the destination. USA to Austria. Wait, it said USA. Apparently, Cuba was landed in Cuba. Man, that's, a, that's that's quite a fucking plane. It can fly all the way from the U.S. across Africa to here without having to refuel. Mercs to destroy humanity. Mercs has destroyed the world despite its best efforts. The last few humans you know they are watching the end of history. Oh yeah, look, now they just turned gray, which means that's fucking it. Dead countries. China's government has fallen. The world is dead. 900 people left, and the whole world's gone. Woohoo! Victory! You have eliminated all life on Earth. Now, there's a little bit of a problem with the sentence. All life? Don't you mean you've eliminated all humans? Because we never, because we never had them uh, infect rodents and things like that. So all the animals are still alive. Let's watch the fast replay. We. I like this. This is cool. We didn't do very good. We could have done better. You can see that. Killed it in uh, like three years. It's less than three years, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just quickly look at the fast forward replay of this. You can see countries quickly being infected. And keep going. They keep going. Look at that, it's kind of cool. And then I start killing the world off now, because then you can see all like the redness start like just stops moving, which means that people are just dying. And look at that, the world becomes lifeless. And that's it, game over, bitch. All right, let's have let's look let's look at the graph. Oh, nice. Runs very slowly, and then. Wait, what? The whole world didn't die. Oh, and then it just spiked right there. But that's it. Oh, look at this. The following new game type has been discovered and unlock metabolic jump. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching the video. It might have been extremely long, but not as long as the other one. But yeah. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will play more Plague Inc. in the future.
possibly.